Hi, my name is Liam and in today's tutorial we're going to look at how to record livestock sales and the commissions that get taken off if you're on an invoice base for your VAT. This is a four step process. Steps one and two are dealt with when you receive the paperwork from whoever you sold the livestock to. Steps three and four are then dealt with when you receive the money for the livestock you've sold. So, step one, we're going to create a sales invoice and fill it out with the information on the paperwork that we've received. To do this, we're going to use the plus icon and under customers, we're going to create an invoice. The first box is who have we sold the animals to. In this example, we sold them to Jaspers. We then need to enter the invoice date which is the date on the paperwork that they've sent us. So in this example, that's the 1st of January 2019. And we're then going to enter the invoice number or the reference that they've put on their paperwork. 123 ABC. If we scroll down the page, we can then fill out the main detail of our invoice. So the product and service identifies which category the sale is. And if we click on the little arrow, we can see the options that we have and this time we've sold some cull cows. In the description we're then going to record the number or the detail of the animals that we've sold. So we're going to type in that it was four cull cows sold. We're then going to enter the amount which is the total value of the sale before they take any charges off and that's £1400. and the VAT on our livestock sales is 0%. Once we've filled that all in, we're gonna scroll down, check that the total amount of our invoice is correct, and we're going to save and close. Step two is now to record the livestock commissions, the charges that they take off. To do this, we're again gonna use the plus icon, but under suppliers, we're going to create and expense. The first box is the payee, which is again Jasper's. The account is which bank account did we pay for this expense from, and with our livestock commissions, that's going to be contra. The payment date should be the same date as the sales invoice we just created, and the reference number is also going to be the same just so that we can track which contra or which commission relates to which sales invoice. Again, if we move down the screen, we can fill out the main detail of this expense. So the category is the profit and loss category for this transaction, which if we start typing livestock, we can select the livestock commissions and levies account. The description can then be that it was charges on cattle sold, the amount is the net value of the charges. That's going to be 50 pounds, and there's 20% VAT on top. And we can see in the right hand corner that QuickBooks has calculated this and calculated that there's 10 pounds VAT, which we checked to the paperwork, and we're happy that that matches. And all we have to do then is enter our memo, which is the same as the description we've just put in. Once we've filled all of this out, we're again going to save and close. Now, as I said, steps three and four are then dealt with when you receive the money from whoever it was that you sold the animals to. So we've now been paid by Jaspers, so we're gonna move on to step three. Step three requires us to go to the invoicing tab and then into customers. From here, we're going to go into Jaspers customer account and we can see the sales invoices that we previously created. On the right hand side in blue, we have the option to receive payment, which is what we're going to click on. And from here, there's a couple of boxes we need to check. So the payment date should be the date that they've actually paid the money into your bank. So that's the 29th of January. And this amount is going to be deposited to the Contra bank account. 
We're happy that QuickBooks has ticked the invoice that we're dealing with and that this is for the full amount of the livestock sale. So again, before they take their charges off. We're going to save and close this receive payment. And we're on to step four. For step four, we head to the banking tab. And if we scroll through our transactions in four of you, we can see here on the 29th of January that £1,340 was paid into the bank. We're going to click on this transaction. We're going to change the first box from deposit to a transfer. We're going to make sure that the second box is contra so that this money is going to the contra account. And in the third the box, the memo box, we're going to type in that this was the check for cattle sold paid in and we're going to add this transfer and that's our four steps completed now to check that we've done it correctly we're going to go to the accounting tab and if we find contra in the list of accounts and go to account history we can see in the top right that the contra account has a balance of zero which it should do once all transactions for a specific event have been dealt with. And if we have a look, we can see the full value of our sales, the charges that they took off, leaves us with the amount that was paid into the bank, which gives us that balance of zero. The same principle applies if you're dealing with your milk sales and you'll have different categories set up specifically for milk but the process remains the same, the four steps remain the same. Thank you for watching, 